They'll be calling you a radical, so I'll start my two days worth of protest tomorrow morning. And I want to say this, so anybody, look, you remember all the people that said they were artists, activists, Fukushima, by the hundreds, if not the thousands. Where are they at now, huh? Where the fuck are they at now? That he can't even make it ten fucking years. What a fucking bunch of clowns. I look back on them all jumping on my back. I don't know what they were trying to do. self provocate themselves into what? I'm going to be the next Helen Keldica. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, boy. So, Chris, he went over to Los Alamos, and he did his protest, shot his video. So what we're doing for the 10th anniversary is it's the theme is betrayed. That's what it is. It's betrayal. It's basically been... Media, academia, scientists are mystified, baffled, puzzled, stumped, propaganda versus Kevin Blanche, the truth. Dunford's done his share up there. It's Yucca Mountain, Dana. Yucca. Yucca. It's Czar Bomba. Czar like czars. But anyway. <laughs> so just make you a little sign. Betrayed. Real simple. And just, I, you know, your local university is perfect. They have science departments. Just stand there. You know, talk to the cops. When you get there, say, hey, we're just going to shoot a video. A little sign, you know. They'll say, yeah, cool. Uh, your local nuclear facility, your nuclear, nuclear reactor, your mock fuel plant, your Westinghouse zirconium plant. There's plenty of them. Just... Stand there, put up your sign, make a video. Post your video, where you're at, what state you live in, what city, because there's plenty of fucking places. And to the nuclear propagandists and all these fucking morons that are all over think the nuclear energy is still good. It, really simple. You're, you've been watching my videos long enough. You eat them for lunch. One word, Fukushima. So this is important. When the earthquake happened, the monster... Those reactors were gone immediately. It didn't take a tsunami. That quake knocked them out. It broke the cement fuel pools fucking wide open. It cracked the containment vessels. It was on. Full blown out fucking. Arnie Gundershill was in my sight that fucking day. The uh, first video I put up. There's a side. You know, he works for the nuclear industry. Fucking phony fuckers. Uh, you know, the whole crew that jumped on me. Oh, we're going to be artists and jump on with Kevin Bl they all just quit. What are they doing now? Uh, nothing fucking to do with anti-nuclear movement. Had nothing to do with the Fukushima movement. <laughs> so what were they doing? They couldn't even make it 10 years. <laughs> can't even make it as an anti-nuclear, as trying to save mother. You can't even fucking fight for it for 10 years. So why did you even throw your hat in the ring? I don't get it. I, I don't know, but 10 years ain't that long. I mean, it's a hell of a fight. When Fukushima happened, it was the 10th here. You're in Mount Mary Massacre fucking time. In California, it was, believe, I believe, 10.39 p.m. On the 5th anniversary, we did that protest and walked along in San Diego. Now, I'll start the protest here. Hopefully get on a plane, go to San Diego, and finish it up there at San Onofre on the 11th. So, the 5th anniversary, we were there. It was the 10th in the United States. Now, New York, it was, I think, 12.39, you know. That piece of shit propaganda book 30 years late on Chernobyl after midnight. Oh, fuck you. It was shortly after midnight here. What are we going to do? Wait 33 years and have HBO make a fucking documentary about Fukushima? It's been basically 10 years of fucking nuclear fucking whores and prostitutes called media. I love all the fucking vloggers. James Colbert fucking... Dutch sense, all those fucking rats took it on, took it on, making money. Uh, Alex Jones selling bunkers pills, and then they fucking, when they found out that it scared their fucking, you know, they had to jump on right wing Kool Aid because that's where all the fucking money's at. By the way, hi, all you right wing welfare queens. Hi, all you American left and right welfare queens. You getting your socialism stimulus check? That's socialism. Until I see one of you burn one on the line, shut the fuck up. I don't give a fuck anymore because I, you proved to me our small fucking army, you know, make everybody support the historic work. 
I'll do all your fucking dirty work, and I'm a fool to do all the dirty work, but somebody's got to fucking do it, and I'm in it for the long haul. I don't just fucking, you know, if you haven't noticed, they're fighting cancer. I ain't going to quit you. I ain't going to quit you. Brokeback Mountain. <laughs> don't you think it's irony that they're going to sign the fucking bill? It'll be tomorrow night. Almost to the exact fucking moment of the Fukushima fucking disaster. The greatest, ecolo the greatest catastrophe in human history. I mean, think about the irony of that. COVID? Is that how this all came? COVID? Oh, no. That couldn't be a mutation from the Fukushima disaster pouring into the ocean. <laughs> Fuck it. All it's been is cover-up fucking lies and propaganda. And every single person that's gone along and fucking perpetuated this lie, all the media, scientists, mystified by... Oh, I'm a... Try me. I'm a scientist. I'm a PhD. Fuck, try me. Try me. Try me. <laughs> I got fucking ten times more credentials fucking in the academia, in the field work, you know. What, because I'm on YouTube? Oh, it's just YouTube. It's just, what do I need? To peer review? <laughs> Fuck, they went along. I had plenty of peers. And go talk to some of the old, old professors about me. I'll show you peer review. <laughs> it's just YouTube. It's just fire. It's just the will. Kettle me. Fucking do whatever. Rip me open, pour me out. So, it was the 10th when it happened here. And the stimulus check signing will come probably maybe with Maybe fucking sliding with Biden because he knows all about Fukushima. Remember, he was the VP. He was in the Situation Room. And then we got that piece of shit fucking Trump. Fuck. But we're getting a check. Yay. We're fucking indentured slave capitalists going to cash my socialism fucking welfare check. <laughs> oh, billionaire basketball players. Go team. Yay. Yay. They fucking earn it. Yay. Oh, fuck. <laughs> You're trailing your health for Jeff Bezos and Cruz fucking wealth. Maybe his fuck. Oh, she married a science teacher. I wonder what that fucker's doing for fucking Fukushima. <laughs> I talked to a science teacher a little while ago, and he he was at uh, high school, and he says, "Well, well, you know, I really don't understand Fukushima." I says, "You're a science teacher?" I says, "Well, I'm a butcher. I don't know what a cow is. I'm a fisherman. I have no clue what a fishing pole is. I'm a plaster. I have no clue what a hawk and trial is." Huh. I'm Green, the historic, historic betrayal of Greenpeace, Sierra Club, Friends of the Earth is so discouraged, fuck, discour it's criminal, it's criminal, they should be arrested. All the academia, marine biologists, protest right in front of them, say, and they'll say, well, you know, uh, uh, you know, and they're fucking bullshit. Why is the whole place evacuated then? Still 10 years fucking later. Why can't no one get near it? Oh, it hasn't killed any. Okay, you believe all that shit? How come all the tide pools are dead in California? You don't fucking care. How come all the fucking salmon pipes? You don't care. How about all the fucking heat wave over the western ice and the fires and the fucking... Because nuclear meltdowns, oh, they're hot, hot, hot. Just the greatest catastrophe in human history. The greatest mental illness in human history. It's called Fukushima denial. It's a death sentence. So go ahead and fucking die. Don't fight back. <laughs> it blows my mind. Well over 7 billion fucking people just stood by and let the greatest ecological catastrophe fucking the cover-up. is the greatest event in human history is the cover-up of Fukushima. The media, fucking academia, fucking all these propagandists all went along with it. And 7.3 billion fucking sheep let them get away with it. To their own death. Willing to fucking kill themselves. Cut off fucking 20, 30, 40, 50% of their... Watch, more animals and species have gone extinct and died in the past fucking decade, the previous 2 million years combined. That's an arguable fact. Go look at your titles. Of course, fuck people though. Ooh, ooh, yeah, I thought they're hypnotized. You know, it's a, the nuclear industry is a cult. You know, they've drank the nuclear Kool-Aid. They're going to tell you everything's fucking great. Drinking their fucking, you know, golden Kool-Aid fucking right to their own fucking death. <laughs> Ask Paul Allen. Ask Rush Limbaugh. You know, I go on and on and on about these fucking propagandists. Ask fucking David Blee in uh, Kentucky. <laughs> the Nuclear Consortium. What? He just drank some cob medicine and died this month at 61. Ask the Well Watching Foundation in Hawaii, 51. Dead. Ask the Well Watching Foundation in California. Oh, fucking these nuclear apologists. <laughs> to their own fucking death. 
So all these activists that jumped on, and they were going to take it on, YouTube vloggers, media, and none of them could make it 10 years. No one of them could even fucking hang for 10 fucking years. Our tiny group army, there's a few. So I'll start protesting. Me and my grandson's going to protest. They were born this month. They'll be 10. So we got our sign, and we're going to do our protests, you know, my grandson was talking to some, one of his little friends, and they're talking about, you know, that generation's all into, they're pissed, and uh, they were arguing, I heard them arguing, this girl and this group, they were in a certain group, oh, you're all this, that, the other thing, he says, well, how come you didn't show up to the protest then? We've had several of them here. <laughs> hmm. What did Lisa say? The world's run by those who show up. Hmm. It's funny, Kevin Blanche is the only one that fucking shows up. So, just make your sign, make a little video, throw it on your YouTube site, throw it on whatever media source you got. It doesn't matter if it gets three views. It's recorded in history. So people can look back and say, because they're going to say, what the fuck? It's going to go like this. Years from now, these nuclear whores and Grandma, today we was in fourth grade science class and we learned that this great ecological catastrophe that wiped out all the typhoons, wiped out the Pacific Ocean, caused all the fires across the United the greatest ecological catastrophe, caused COVID-19, caused so much of this thing, was caused by the nuclear meltdowns of Fukushima, Japan. And we found out today that it was the biggest cover-up in human history and everybody went along and the marine biologists and the media and everybody just played along. Nobody freaking did anything. There was just a couple. There was a guy named Kevin Blanche who fought every day. Oh, really, honey? Grandma, didn't you work for the media? Weren't you a reporter? Grandma, didn't you have a YouTube site in those days? Grandma, didn't you? Weren't you a marine biologist? <laughs> then the kid will probably spit in grandma's face. You know, they're pissed. So, it happened on the 10th. So, it's been 10 years of propaganda. The greatest mental, all the coincidence, typos died, all the fires. You know that life expectancy worldwide started to crash in 2012. Been going like this for years. Even in the United States, it's crashing dramatically in 2012. Will, I mean, no, nuclear meltdowns don't do anything. No, no. That's why we spend billions and trillions and fucking gazillions trying to prevent them. That's why we build cooling towers. That's why we have so much fucking security. That's why we spend billions in fucking counterterrorism so the one doesn't get blown up. Fuck, that's why we have the fucking seawalls. Again, the fucking cooling towers. We have the nuclear regular corn to many. We have so much because they're fine. Why do we have all that? Why? Because when nuclear meltdowns happen, nobody seems to give a fuck. And the whole world, oh, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> pushing into the ocean, fucking Moxfield, blown all the fucking the greatest. I mean, this is billions of Chernobyls. Oh, we watched Chernobyl 30 years later. Who, who, who? One partial fucking core meltdown that got entombed by fucking, you know, several hundred thousand fucking men, which was a catastrophe from hell. My axe worse than Chernobyl, and fucking Chernobyl's bad. Three full blown out meltdowns. And you're going to read every single line in every single article. It's going to say, worst disaster since Chernobyl. Fuck, this is the worst fucking Chernobyl. The fucking Pacific Ocean has collapsed 90 fucking percent. All fucking foretold. Filled work by Kevin Blanche. Right in your face. No one gave a fuck. So, post this up. By the time you watch, it'll probably be the 10th. When it happened, it was, it was the 10th here in most of the United States. It was that night. And I've done an event every year. You know, a lot of artists used to work with me, but they all quit. Because, well, they were all phony fuckers. I don't see, you know, what do you got to have Kevin Blanche lead you around by the fucking hand? I don't see them doing anything. I mean, I check in on them. I look at their sites and whatever. I ain't saying a peep about it. Boy, they sure were in. What the fuck? Did somebody come to them and give them some money? Well, I know that happened for the Dutch sense. He was paid. You know, I know that happened to fucking James. I mean, you look at those YouTube, they went, Mouse. well, the American populace can't handle the fucking truth. They're too weak. You know, so they're willing to fucking die. They ain't got much fucking lives anyway, pathetic fucks. So, just hold your sign up, be trade, have a conversation with somebody, say, well, 
Well, how come you're not talking about Fukushima? Well, you know, that, don't, no, no, no. Don't take, just say, you're full of shit. And record them. Let them fuck them. It's the greatest ecological catastrophe in human history. And the world stood by and watched the nuclear energy crime syndicate gang rape fucking Mother Earth. Just gang raped her. Gang raped her. Oh, you can get a stimulus check, though. You're going to sign the stimulus check almost probably right to the fucking moment of the 10th anniversary of Fukushima. What a decade. What a fucking decade. What a metaphor. I ain't getting no stimulus check. If I did, I'd fucking burn it. Fuck this government covering up this fucking thing. You're all caught up in political theory. You're going to go storm the Capitol for what, Trump? I've never mentioned Fukushima one time. When it's oh, he doesn't know about it. Yeah, he does, because I asked him. Or to his face. You going to talk about Fukushima? Yep. Get in a car wreck. You don't stop driving. I said to him, you do if it kills you. <laughs> Obama, what a piece of dog shit. You know, so sliding with Biden, we'll see, huh? Get your fucking welfare check. All right. Hi, all you fucking commie socialists. Fuck. All right. Hi, all you right-wing fucking socialists. <laughs> Phony fuckers. Fucking fake activists. Fucking Greenpeace, Sierra Club, fucking Friends of the Earth. Epic historic potato makes me fucking sick. You're recorded in history. Kevin Blanche did it. You know, you can try to stuff me back in the toothpaste tube and put me back. You can kettle me, but don't matter. I was right the whole time and all the field work. Fuck, what a journey. <laughs> well full of fucking cancer fighting for my life. We'll see when you get your fucking turn. And let me tell you, <laughs> you fucking people that fucking covered it up when you get your turn, I've watched them. You die so fucking fast. I've watched them. I was in the bone marrow science with fucking three different fucking nuclear reactor propagandists who are fucking apologists. Oh, fuck Shane. I watched all three of them die so fast. And when, by the way, those kind of people, when they die, they get sucked into a black hole for time and all eternity. No doubt in my life. I fight for the fucking people they murdered. All the fucking people that Fukushima has murdered. All the fucking life. The seals. The fucking sea lions. The fucking... All. You know, starfish live to be 35 years old. You know. All the mammals. Fucking seals are just like us. They wiped them out. You know, the seals in the Pacific Ocean are down over 90%. Post Fukushima. I fight for them. You don't. You don't. Thank you everybody who supported the historic fucking work. And all you fuckers that jumped on my back. And yay, we're going to fucking do this, that thing. And I thought you were anti-nukers. <laughs> you just like these whores. Springsteen. He sure made a lot of fucking money. <laughs> Go do a fucking interview with Obama, you fuckhead. Fuck you. Fuck all of them. I'm still fighting. Stay in tune.